guys welcome back to another vlog I hope you guys enjoyed the past couple of vlogs that I posted up I'm sitting here responding to comments on my cleaning channel it's a little dark in here it's actually about 6:40, and I am uploading some film and responding to comments um, from cleaning downstairs and just cleaning up here um, so while that's uploading I'm responding to comments but um, I thought I would take a moment to start vlogging um, I don't know why there's not really much going on besides cleaning. Um, I did get a mic because my wonderful friend Monday got one and I'm like, I need that mic because her, her audio sounded really good. Um, and I would love to do like use it on my phone because that's when I'm out in public. That's what I use if I do vlog out in public is I vlog on my phone, but I'm excited to use that. It's charging. Um, but I am headed here in a little bit. I'm going to leave here about 7 o'clock to go and uh, go to my mom's house um, to give her her night shot and give her her night medicine and then come back home. Um, and I think I'm going to call it a night, but I do have the kitchen left, the dining room left, and the boys' bathroom. So I did my bedroom, the master, started with the long... I started laundry, cleaned out the laundry room, did the living room. Um, so I did quite a bit today. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty pleased. Um, and I also edited our podcast. Um, so by the time you see this, it's already been up, but y'all. That's a text message. Um, but y'all, y'all need to go and check that out. Um, it's called Crime Secrets with Mandy and Rosa. And the first season or first true episode, because this is the second season, we did an intro, but the first true episode, um, it's going to be labeled as episode two. It's, it's intense. It's intense. Um, it's intense, but glad you guys are back. And um, like I said, we got a few things to go. I'm going to show you a project that I'm going to be working on that I'm going to be filming for my, um, what is it, back patio. I have two brands that I'm working with. Um, and I needed to film two different videos. So tomorrow I need to film the back patio. But I'm going to show you what I got for the back patio. And I'm excited to put it together. To make it more loungier in the backyard um, since we got rid of the trampoline um, um, the backyard just seems a, not a lot bigger and nicer and so we just got to keep up with the banana trees and trim them we essentially put them back there to use you know to get the bananas but they haven't really been producing and that's fine I'm not really worried about it to be honest and now they're kind of just being used for like privacy because our back line fence is like four feet tall. So you can see straight up in here in the backyard. So all the other trees around it are, are growing up. So I'm wanting that to keep going. So we just trim it, all the dead ones that fall or whatever, and just kind of keep it nice. But I'll show you all of that here in a little bit. So um, we, do, we do have some um, back patio work to do. I'm going to be using gloves because your girl just got her nails done and I am not going to break any. I'm not going to break any. <laughs> um, and then, like I said, head over to my mom's to give her her shot and come back to crawl into bed to wake up early to go to church, babysit Max, come home, um, and finish up some stuff and then head back over to my mom's to give her her night meds and her shot. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. But I slept in today. I slept in till about 12. Well, no. I slept in. Um, my body woke me up at like 7 as normal. But I said not today. Went right, but went, went to right back to bed. Then, uh, what else? Woke up again. Like at eight or nine, I said, no, going back to sleep. 
And then it just like, you know, it was just telling me I need to get up. But I said, no, I'm not getting up. I'm sleeping. So then I slept in until about 11, almost 12 o'clock. And I was like, all right, Rose, it's time to get up because the day's already, the day's already gone. But I needed to rest. I needed to just to lay down and sleep. So, um, but yeah, that's what I did this morning. And it felt good. I don't regret it. I f it felt good. So, uh, with cleaning my room, I had to change my sheets. And because I hadn't changed them in two weeks, so I needed to change my sheets. Um, not the comforter, um, but I will be putting that in the wash next go round. Um, but I'm worried that it's going to fade. It's got that pretty orange, that burnt orange. So I'm worried that it may fade. So I don't know. We'll see what happens if it does or does not. Um, I may just take it to like a dry cleaners and get that one, you know, that one in particular to get washed. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to trying to finish up some stuff here. Make sure that my video, my my stuff is getting loaded in and then head downstairs to go and show you guys everything that I'm going to be working on in the backyard because right now the den is being used as storage for the addition for the backyard so I'll show you that in just a second all right so now that the video is uploaded into off my what are those called? Memory cards into iMovie downstairs. I can show you the box. So right now, as I said, our tin is kind of like our storage. So as you guys can see, we've got these are chairs and two of them and a table came in this. I don't know how they did it, but they shoved it all in here. So I'm going to be working on this tomorrow because I'm assuming this is gonna be a really big project. So, outside, it's Saturday, it's football day, go Knowles. But right, let's go outside really quickly and I'm gonna show you the idea or the plan. Come on, Gizmo. So we have to clean all of this. We're getting rid of this. The chairs we're getting rid of as well. We got to clean all of this, pressure wash it. I'm going to just use our hose that we've got. Um, I've got a new patio rug that's in there in the storage um, to put out here because that was one of the projects or one of the things that a brand sent me was a patio rug. So I'm excited to put that out. So we're going to clear all this up, make it nice and homey. Um, and then over here, we got this ready for a grill. I'm going to move all of this out and just let the grass grow there. Um, but here's the backyard right there. You guys can see the dead grass. That's where the trampoline was. So it's slowly crawling in there, growing. Um, I'm going to be moving. Oh, look, there's mushrooms. That's dangerous for the doggies. I'm pulling all of these up and taking them out around the front. Um, to the fence or not to the fence lines where the uh brick wall was or is i've already done a couple over there so gotta do that um but yeah as you guys can see like the trees are are growing um and so the idea is for them to keep growing to give us somewhat privacy so we still have this this gap this gap that gap um, and I'm fine with that, but ideally we got that little bush and that tree, that one right there. So hopefully those will grow and kind of fill in those spaces as well. Cause I would like to be able to come sit out here if I want to and not have to worry about someone looking in my backyard, you know, and wondering what the heck is she doing? So this is what we'll be doing here in the next day or two. Um, just kind of cleaning all of this out, getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm still loving this canopy, not canopy, gazebo. Absolutely love it. It was gifted to us. So we'll be using that, uh, still keeping this, but we just got a lot to do back here. A lot to do, a lot to do. So it's several days later and I'm actually sitting in my car and I wanted to end the vlog here. Um, I'm sitting in my car 
because I'm going to get a hair trim. If you guys see, look at those ends. They're horrible. I'm not chopping my hair. I'm just getting a trim and I'm, I'm a little sad because it's my heart. It's my heart. And I'm, I'm trying to finish up some um, back end stuff with YouTube for my cleaning channel. My appointment's at 5.30 and it's 4.53. Um, so I got here pretty early. Um, I actually got here, got on this side of town about 3.30, um, but I went and did, no, yeah, 3.30, but I went to a couple of stores just to check them out. I did go to Kohl's. Where's my Kohl's bag? Oh, it's right here. And I got some shorts because here in Florida, it's hot all year, but these are so cute. Um, wear with some sandals and a black shirt. You know me, my black shirts. And these were on clearance uh, for 1440, they're nine west. Um, and then I had a 30% off coupon, coupon, and I brought them down to a whopping $10.74. Great deal on a pair of nine west shorts. So, um, got those. So I'm gonna sit here and kind of just do some stuff before my appointment. The girl's gonna do, it's a two hour appointment, y'all. Cause there's so much heart. And I told her that I was gonna bring it here. This is two days clean, um, big and curly. You guys know how, well, if you don't know. So what I typically do is I'll wash it and put all my stuff in it, um, gel, conditioner and all that stuff. And then um, that'll be one day. Second day, I'll put it up so in a satin bonnet or whatever. So this is second day. And then I'll do a third day like this because it can last, you know, without me having to touch it up for a third day. After the third day, it goes either into a ponytail or in a bun. Sometimes I can push for fourth day, but if I can't, then it gets washed again. So I try to do every three to four days to go without washing my hair. So today, She's going to trim my hair, wash my hair, trim it, and I think we're going to even attempt to blow dry it. And I've blow dried my hair before. Um, and I've had it blow dried before. And we'll see how it turns out. Um, but yeah, I just need a trim, and it's been hard to find someone that's not going to charge me a ridiculous amount. Look at those split ends. That's pretty bad. And she was telling me that she may have to take off two inches. Oh, oh. That's a lot of her. That's a lot of her. So, I'm gonna sit here and do this. Um, I already texted her, told her I was here. She's in the middle of a blowout with another client and she will call me or text me when she's done so then I can just end this and go in there. So I'm doing some back end stuff and I'm also watching some videos. Um, uh oh, watching some videos in my car. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys the after, show you how much gets cut off. We'll do potentially a before and after so she can, we can see what would it be looking like. <laughs> so if y'all care to see anything about my, my heart, then stick around. But I think I'm, I know I'm gonna love it. I know I'm gonna love it. It just needs a trim really bad. The hubs is like, are you gonna chop it off? No, he goes, you know, I like it short or curly. Short or long, I don't care, as long as it stays curly. I said, yes, sir. So we're gonna get it trimmed, but I'll show you guys in a bit what it looks like. under the hot towel, sitting with moisturizer on my hair. So excited for this process. We are cutting, she saw my ends when they're dry. We're cutting a few inches off. It's a lot of har, it's a lot of har. So it is the next day and I 
did not get back on last night because some things came up. But the hair is done. Some things came up last night. I don't know why this is not sticking there. Unfortunately, some things came up. So I couldn't show you the after. One, it was raining when I left the hair salon. And then two, when I got home, I had to deal with some stuff and just not good. But now I have to tame these bags because my eyes are swollen and it's just not a good day. But gotta chuck through it. I thought I was literally lost all my lashes last night. That's how bad it was. But I still got them. I got another week with them. But I've already put moisturizer on my face. And let me get some eye cream to help with some of the puffiness. And then I was going to show you my morning routine and putting on my makeup. So if you guys are interested with that, keep on watching because we're going to end the vlog with this. already put moisturizer on my face I rarely put foundation primer on but I will put it on my nose today and I'm using it's the Mary Kay foundation primer, SPF 15. And then I'm going to use this brush. I got it from Timu. Was this Timu? Yeah, this was Timu. I did a haul with Timu on my cleaning channel not too long ago. Um, so I'm going to, I use two colors. This one's too light, which is the 30H, no, 332. So this is the Maybelline New York. Um, and the 332 is what I use in pressed powder, but it's too light in the liquid foundation. And then I got the 355. Um, so this is a coconut. It's called Coconut 355 Coconut, and then the 332 is Golden Caramel. Golden Caramel. So, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to mix these two on my brush and then apply. my three use my 332 foundation to do an all over sometimes you got to mix foundations to get the right color sometimes when the mixing of the concoctions and the applications sometimes the foundation like yesterday was a tad bit on the darker side <laughs> just a tad bit on the dark side but Today I think we got a great, a good combination. And so then now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I use the Essence Matte Bronzing pa Palette.
and I mix the bottom two colors, those two, just to dabble dabble on the edge. So now that that's done, I don't use eyeshadow much anymore um, ever since I got my lashes done. Um, but I use highlighter and this is the, it's the Wet n Wild Highlight and Powder. It's, uh, what's the color? It says Mega Glow is what it is. It's the Mega Glow 321B Precious Petals. So it's really, really super shiny, very pretty. So all I do is I put it right here. I know a weird place to do it, but I'm telling you once everything's done, it's great. I'm gonna put a little on my nose. So I don't do my foundation, my makeup like normal people. I'm all over the place. I use whatever techniques works for me. I am no makeup guru. So don't come for me and how I put on my makeup. So we're slowly but surely covering those bags. I mean, my eyes are still swollen, but we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. So now I'm going to do my brows and I use the Mary Kay Espresso um, eyeshadow to fill in. I also invested in this eyebrow pencil that comes with the spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other end. And I can't remember what color this was. Um, it's a universal brow pencil. So, um, Brows are done, lashes are combed. It's time to put on some blush. And I'm gonna use the Maxi Blush from Rimmel. It's the color Wild Card. Hmm. Very fitting for the current situation. Put that on just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over what uh, it's called Berry Brown. I'm gonna put that right on top. That's it. That's all she wrote, folks. That's all she wrote. That is what I do for my makeup. Now we're gonna tackle this head. So, got it cut. 
and I'm so excited about it because I'm in love with the cut. I had to get it trimmed so I can open this bottom drawer to get an actual brush. Um, and I need a new brush, y'all. Um, but went and got a cut and it needed it bad. Took about three inches off. Shut up. And she gifted me, my girl gave me this, gifted me this new um, hairspray. And I had heard that there's different styles of hairspray. Um, you just, and different types of hairspray. So I asked her about it. She goes, yes, actually there is. And I want to show you the one that I'm going to give to you because it took much longer than expected. So I pinned it, pinned up my hair and these little clips. And then I put a stocking cap on top. And then I put my little silky cap over it so that it doesn't move and that it doesn't frizz up. But look at this hair. So shiny, so soft, in love. They were not. So we are going to leave it down today. It's been raining and I'm just hopeful that the rain doesn't. I'm able to pin it up so I can get to work. I know what time is it? So yeah, I gotta be leaving here in a little bit. I'm not gonna have time to make lunch. Maybe I can. But didn't get much sleep last night. Was up super late dealing with some stuff. to listen to some praise and worship here in a minute to help me so we've got I'm not sure how I'm gonna work this we got it cut to where my part where I can have my part but I feel like since it's so straight it kind of gives me this weird big forehead look so yeah she did say to spray this on my hand Feel like I'm share. Do you believe in love after love? I know, that don't make no sense. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying here, y'all. Trying here. But I don't want to put more heat to it. It is so stinking healthy. So healthy. I'm actually going to go back in about a month or two to go get a Brazilian blowout to just where I can wear it straight and 
when I have it curly, it's not so big and poofy that I still want to rock my curls, but you know. to put on my green sweater. If this shirt looks familiar, it's from that Sheen haul. <laughs> I'll show you guys really quickly the outfit of the day and then we'll end the vlog here. Outfit of the day, you guys can barely see. I've got my Michael Kors shoes dark denim jeans, my tan shirt that I got from Timu, and my green cardigan. Here, let me go back in here to show you. I don't know if you guys can see it better, but <laughs> that's the outfit. This is what I'm wearing today to work, and it's comfortable, and I'll stay nice and toasty at work, but I could also take my sweater off if I get cold or get hot. But I want to thank you guys for being here. Um, appreciate all your love and your support on this channel. I know it's kind of all over the place in the past couple of days, but thank you guys for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first she just gotta stop